Sheila Nasri from Grade 1B. My topic is wildlife issues. Wildlife is a precious gift from God to our planet. Wild animals are essential to maintain the balance in the ecosystem. Wildlife issues mean the problem which our wild animals are facing nowadays. Like many animals are getting affected by the byproducts get out of the factories. Every day, thousands of wild animals are farmed, poached, or sold into the global trade for food, pets, traditional medicine, and entertainment. Many people think wild animals are cute, fun, and would be amazing as pets, but no, they need to live their own life in their natural habitat. We should conserve our wildlife and tell our family too. We should tell our friends to pledge what we all can do to stop wildlife trafficking. Thank you. My name is Kenneth Making Show from Grade 1B. My topic is called deforestation. So, do you know deforestation is? Deforestation when people cut down so many trees in the rainforest and not replanting them. Why do people do that? People can make more money by turning the trees into paper and furniture. People also can make more money by turning the rainforest into buildings and farming areas. So what happens next? With fewer trees to absorb the bad CO2 in the air, our earth has get hotter. Many animals have lost their homes too. So what can we do to help? We can simply help by planting more trees in the rainforest and, and we also can recycle things that come from trees as much as we can. We think recycle the plant reforest. Thank you. Good morning respected principals, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Pandey Shankar and I am the Rangi. My topic is air pollution. Air pollution means mixing of hazardous gases and particles in the air, which goes to inside our body through breathing. These affect our health. Hence, nowadays, air pollution is becoming a major concern for humanity. Causes of air pollution are cutting of trees, burning of foods burning of fossil fuels, smoke from factory and industries, smoke from markets. Do you know what is the effect of air pollution? Effects of, effects of air pollution are like a summer bronchitis, cancer, skin disease. Nature is an asset given to us. It has given life to living beings and to pass on this asset to our offspring as it is. We need to take good care of it. If we need our future generations to grow up in a healthy environment, then we need to take the steps now. We can reduce air pollution by taking a bus or carpooling, buying and using electric vehicles, planting trees. This is my brochure. Thank you. Maximum principal, teachers, and my dear friends. My topic for my exhibition is water contamination. The water coming from rain, pool, and wall. The fiction of water, human life, people, animals, and plants. The fiction for drink. Cups washed, so we must care about water. Don't waste the trash. Don't waste the trash over the river. And 
seen. So don't waste food, plastic, and anything impossible to the river and the sea. Because they can come to it, the water and it can be dangerous for human life. Thank you. Good morning, respected principal, sir, teacher, and my dear friend. My name is Jacob from Grade One B, and my topic is about COVID-19. COVID-19 first found in December 2019, Wuhan, China, and it's originated from animals. WHO declared COVID-19 as global pandemic. Miki in Indonesia COVID-19 COVID first case March 2020 COVID-19 has changed the world and we have to prevent it with avoid contact with six people wear mask stay at home no school no, and no traveling. Wash your hands hand regularly. Right now, the vaccine has been found hopefully. We can get back to normal because we miss school. Thank you. Good morning, respected principal, sir, teachers, and my dear friends. My name is Ishan and today for my topic is malnutrition. Malnutrition refers to getting too little or too much of certain nutrients. Malnutrition affects billions of people worldwide. Some populations have a high risk of developing certain types of malnutrition depending on their environment, lifestyle and resources. What is malnutrition? Malnutrition is caused by lack of nutrients in diet problems or absorbing nutrients from foods. Types of malnutrition include undernutrition and overnutrition. Causes of malnutrition Poverty, I mean, no, lack of access to food, poverty, not a balanced diet. Effects from malnutrition Weight loss, not going taller, less active. High risk of disease. Solutions to malnutrition. Improve healthcare system. Teach about nutrition. Stop wasting food. Population control. Easy access to food supply. Thus, we can also help prevent malnutrition by eating a diet with a variety of foods that include enough proteins, carbs, fats, vitamins, minerals, and waters. Water. Eating healthy is the key to healthy body. Thank you. This is my brochure. Thank you. Seeds 
are the security of future generations. Our farmers simply save the seed and use them for the next season. But now, the term hybrid has changed our lives. Uh, uh, but because the because the seeds of hybrid fruits and vegetables do not grow, hence farmers has to buy the seeds and from the companies which sell them the higher prices. It is hybrid foods are not good for us. It is always good to have locally grown food. The future is in the seed. Thank you. Good morning, Principal Sir and respected teachers and my dear friends. My topic is children health. Children health is the important part of life. Good health is the base of good life. It helps us to enjoy all things in life. Our health is our wealth. For healthy life, we must eat well, sleep well. Healthy food keeps us fresh. Kids should take fruit, vegetables and milk. We should do exercise and yoga daily. A healthy person always free from disease. We should encourage kids to participate in sports. For good mental health, we should do we should avoid playing online games and try for use it of mobile and laptop. Thank you. Principal, teacher, coordinators, parents and my dear friends. My name is Jishnu. I am from grade 1B. My topic is about child labor. Do you know what is child labor? When poor children are forced to work for money is called child labor. Poverty is the main cause of child labor. But unemployment and flexible labor law are the other reasons. This is my brochure. These children don't get proper food. They can't play with their own toys. They can't go to school. And sometimes they even don't have parents. I feel very sad for them. So what can we do to stop child labor? Maybe we can ask our school to increase awareness or keep some money every week to help a child. So what you say friends? Thank you.